Now, it's gone completely. Engage. Hello, and welcome to the Save Sci-Fi Podcast. I'm your host, David, and joining me tonight, we have Amy. <laughs> she's doing the sound check, so she's her mic's off. <laughs> Sorry, I'm back. <laughs> Just throwing you under the bus. Um, we have Scarecrow. Good evening. We have Stuart. Hello. We've got EJ from Nobility joining us again. Howdy, folks. And the main star of the event, Scott from Garrison 7. And and to be perfectly honest, I left Stuart to do the research on that. So, Stuart, go. Yes, so uh, Garrison 7... <laughs> I've done my work once. Sorry, we are super f- professional. Are you telling here. me I know more about about Garrison Seven than the host here does? Yes. yes. <laughs> you, probably, you probably know more than me. <laughs> it's See, what I do. Gar- Throw Garrison us off the rails. Seven is a movie that was uh, d- uh, done uh, here in Australia with um, local uh, actors as well as some international uh, Hollywood actors as well. It is, if I remember. If I'm correct, the release date is 2018, is it? Actually, there's been a bit of a schedule change. What's actually happening, we're doing three movies. Oh! Um, yeah. Uh, so the first one, Garrison 7 War is Coming, is going to be 2018. And we're starting oh. filming on Garrison 7 The Fallen, which will be 2016. Yeah. Um, just a random note, you're all of a sudden, out of nowhere, buzzing. Oh, me? Yeah. Yeah. All right, how's, how's that? Is hey, that... it's not just me. <laughs> <laughs> but once oh, hang on, hang on. How, how's that? Is that better? Uh, nope. No, that's somehow worse. How's that? <laughs> uh, how's that? Um, so you can't kind of even hear you. All we can hear is the buzz now, so... <laughs> Woo! Just, just for the record, we did a sound check before the start of the yeah. podcast, and it was perfectly clear. The only one not working was EJ. I, I think I think it's... Um, it's he's probably interfering. <laughs> Hang on. Is, is that only a... nobility can have save sci-fi. <laughs> yeah. What it is, is two worlds uh... are actually colliding right now. It's causing this... This blocks. Um, is that? Hang on, I'm just checking my. Um, if if you've got a phone or something near your mic, I know that you know. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I did have one of those things. Hang on, so I got to turn it off. Hang on, how do you do this? It's an Apple product. Throw it, throw it at the wall. It's a good way of turning it off. Seriously, turn it off. Turn it off. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Whack. How's that? Is that better? Uh, no. no. <laughs> That's worse. Sh- shout out to Decaying Seraph, <laughs> most kawaii person on Ozcraft. That's for me. Let me out, me out, me out. Whoa! <laughs> and holy mother of Echo. <laughs> okay. Oh. Yay, Yay, victory! Is that better? That's perfect. Yes. Okay. We are good. I think it's was switching over to my microphone on the computer. That was weird. Yeah. That's probably a better idea. Okay. Yeah, you know. It All happens right. from time to time. Right. Back, there you go. Back on track. <laughs> yes. All right. So yes. So we're um we're actually um we shot originally what we were shooting was a short that we were going to be releasing, and it turned out better than we thought. Um, it actually came up really good. Um, and I, I wrote this story, Garrison Seven. It's kind of uh, for those who don't know, I'm ex-military. So I was a um, paratrooper in the Australian Army. And, thank you. Um, I just want to say really quickly, thank you for your service. Continue. Oh, that's right. <laughs> One second, my son's... Listen, daddy's, daddy's talking. Okay, go out and I'll come and help you in a bit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Go, 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 normally, go. I'm, no. normally I'm the one that breaks the podcast. Woo-hoo. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> um, so it's uh, yeah, so it's it's kind of a collection of um, some. It's, look, it's 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 a bit of uh, real life meets um, the sci. You know, bringing a bit of sci- sci-fi. They call it the sci-fi Game of Thrones, pretty much. That's nice. the thing that that's what the Americans are actually the reaction we're getting back, which is really cool. And and what I wanted to do was. I'd, I, I kind of really wanted to make sure that there wasn't just one big star. And because I think, 
you know, there's a lot of good actors out there. Um, like uh, Mark and Casper especially have come in as they've got older. Um, yeah. Has anyone ever seen Brotherhood of the Wolf? Yes. Okay, that is one of my favourite movies. I love that it's film. It's amazing. It is amazing. And I, I actually think that really shows, when that came out, it shows how good Mark is. Um, and, there, and then he went on to Hawaii Five-0 and all of those sort of things. Yeah, he and, was, um, yeah I've got his page up. He was um, Hawaii Five-0. He was... Um, yeah, he's he was, done um, Stargate Atlantis. He was in Stargate Atlantis. Nice. Yep, he, was, um, he was in Kamen Rider Dragon Knight, which is yeah. the American adaptation of Kamen Rider Ryuki. Yeah, yeah. He was in uh, the World Combat uh, TV series back in 2013 yeah. as Kung Lao, which is awesome. Same for Casper as well. Casper yeah, yeah. Was, he was um, Johnny Cage, Cage, I think, wasn't he? Yeah, he was Johnny Cage yeah. in the TV yeah. series. Johnny oh. Cage. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Johnny. But, um, you know, they're, they're great actors. They're good guys too. And that's the best part is, um, you know, especially so Casper's actually going to be playing Tom Garrison's brother. Um, and Mark is, uh, and, and it's good too because it's got a bit of a dynamic, and I think a lot of people relate to a lot of things in it. It's, it's, um, you know, it, it it touches on a few subjects like they have in a lot of other shows. You know, one of my most favourite shows is Battlestar Galactica, the, yeah. the newer series. Yeah, I just we think all that, sort of like that. Oh, I loved it. You know, like season one. The Cylons were the baddies season two. It's like, oh, are they bad? Are they good? And, and, and it left you wondering and it touched on a lot of subjects. And I think yeah. instead of forcing things down people's throats, you can... This is the good guy. This is the bad guy. Yeah. And they're fighting. And is the good guy... Re- why is the bad guy the way he is? So it, I guess with this, the cool thing about yeah. it is it gives you the opportunity to explore characters. Yeah. And is there is there good and bad? You know, like is, you know, even Garrison's character, when you see the extremes that he goes to, you kind of think, oh, this guy, you know, you, can't, you sort of like wonder, was that necessary? But then again, you see, you know, you see another side to him that you think, oh, yeah, I'd do that too, sort of thing. So, yeah. you know, it, it, the whole thing is I want people to question themselves and, and to, to ask questions and, you know, and, and look at where we're going as a world at the moment. So... Yeah, which is straight to hell at the, the right we Well, going. yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> it's all the perspective, isn't it? Yeah. I thought, I thought exactly. we're already there because we have Tony Abbott as a Prime Minister. Oh, wait, <laughs> like that's, how many times have I told you don't throw Tony Abbott under the bus? That's my job. He's throwing Tony yeah. Abbott under the bus is the job of any Australian. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, off topic, back on to, yeah, back, back yeah, on back to Garrison. On garrison. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So, um, so, what, so you've, using... you've got three movies planned. Um, yes. Do you guys have any more than that, or you like got a whole universe planned out? And you're just like, we'll tell this part of this story here and yeah. this part of this story, or I, I couldn't fit the story into one movie. Um, and as you'll see as it progresses, without giving too much away, there's a lot to it. Nice. Um, and the cool thing about it is um, we've got a series spin-off that we're planning for uh, to launch a pilot around 2018 and it's Garrison 7 G Corps and what it is it's going to be the younger versions of these characters nice. so it, it gives you a bit of a scope how far back it goes yeah. um, and it's really interesting because that series you will have cameos of some of the actors but predominantly, it's going to be a complete younger cast. Yeah. And you get to see them before they became who they are. Yeah. So what, you wait um, for your son to grow up a bit to put him in? Sorry? <laughs> so what, you wait for your son to grow up a bit so you can put him in? <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe. No, no, he, no he, he won't be old enough for that. He's actually, um, he, he'll be playing one of the ages. I, my son's a bit of an actor. He's, um, I, I, I'd actually, if he does want to do it, he, he can if he wants to. If he doesn't want to, it doesn't worry me. He actually told me the other day he wants to learn dancing. And I was like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> So, um, now look, I think um, the cool thing about it is it's, it's also going to open up to, um, you know, different age groups, you know, like, and, but on the same token too, I, I don't want to make it so it's just aimed at one age group. I think, you know, um, it should be, be able to tell a universal story and yeah. you'll be able to come back and forth. And so what we're actually going to be doing is uh, we're actually shooting when we shoot the film, a bit of a giveaway. 
we're actually shooting something that you're actually going to see in the opening for the pilot. Nice. Which is kind of cool. Um, but we need to shoot it before anyone gets to it. So. Yeah. So it's, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be cool. Uh, a lot of, so um, where are you based? Are you based in Queensland or... Yeah, I actually, I live, in, I live on the Gold Coast. Oh, okay. Um, but I, I spend a lot of time over in the States um, and sort of like go back and forth. Uh, yeah. But, you know, we're, we're trying to keep... What, one of the things is I really am pushing to keep it here. Yeah. Um, there's no... Look, there's this big stigma about um, Australian productions. Yeah. Um, if you go the home and away route, yeah, sure. Yeah, <laughs> you're going... You know, and, you know, some people like home and away. There's nothing wrong with it. You know, some people like it, some people don't. Um, if you're going to shoot a... a you, when you're making a movie... What I kind of had the concept of is, which I've been really fortunate. I've worked with a lot of talented directors, and nice. you know, like um, like a really good mate of mine's um, Andrew Kramer. Um, he's actually one of our sponsors, so I'll give him a shout out. Andrew Kramer, video co-pilot. Um, so the cool thing is, um, you know, these guys, you know, you, you see what they do with JJ Abrams and how they do their shows, and and I think it's. If you, you've got to kind of look at what you want your show to be. Yeah. You kind of go, you know, you don't want to copy someone's show, but you look at something and you go, okay, if I want it to be Game of Thrones or the Matrix quality, that's the minimum standard we have to achieve. Yeah. And you've got to, you've got to know there's no... Um, there's no... Cutting if, corners. If, and... Yeah, there's no cutting corners. Like uh, Oscar Gillen, who's our art director... This guy has worked on Avengers stuff. He's worked on Hellboy, you know, everything. Um, he's one of, wait to see, he's an amazing artist. Nice. Uh, and Oscar will not let anything out the door that is not the minimum standard. He goes, no, nah, no. Nah, and I look at some of the stuff and I think it's amazing. And he's going, no, nah, no, nah, we have to change this. It's got to be this. And, and it's really good to have someone like that as my... I guess my number one, yeah. <laughs> because where I look at it from one perspective, he opens my eyes to another, and then you've got my special effects guys um, like Mel Milanovic and Tom Lampropoulos who have done Wolverine and Star Wars nice. and, nice. and all of that, and and they have their ideas on things. And it's, but the cool thing is we we bounce off each other, and yeah. it's a good combination because you know there's some things that all. I'll go, oh, yeah, what about this? And then they throw it at me and then we come back with an even better design. And um, it was really funny because Mel was just working on Pirates of the Caribbean, um, doing some stuff for Johnny Depp and that. And she's like, I just want to come back. <laughs> and it was because I, I guess at the end of the day, you, if you're going to put these people in the positions that they are, you've got to trust them. Yeah. You've, got to, you've got to trust that when they make a decision on something, one of the big things I see in the film industry, which kind of is, it, it annoys me, is, you know, they they want something. They uh, You'll get someone saying, oh, go do this. And then what happens is they don't play, they don't put the, let the person that they give the trust to in the first place to carry through with it. Yeah. They'll get in and they'll go, oh, no, change this, change this, change this. And and start chopping and changing their minds. And that's normally because they don't understand what they want themselves. Yeah. So you've got to learn to trust people when you're doing something. If I'm talking too much, just let me shut up. No, no, no. Um, but you've got to learn to trust. Actually, I have a, I have a question on that, if I may. Oh, Draw that to Mr. Nobility. Oh. <laughs> Out of nowhere, oh, yeah. in comes the loud, loud EJ. Throw it at me, EJ. Should I, uh, should I talk softer? No, no. Is that better? better? Yeah, that's better. <laughs> oh, okay. No, no. So I, I mean, as a filmmaker myself, I agree with you that you need to uh, trust the people that you're working with. Oh. That said, obviously, there will be times where you need to give input or, or nudge people in a different direction. Yeah, totally, totally. Uh, yeah. You can't be a pushover. No, you've you got to yeah. yeah, you've got to yeah, that's yeah, good point. That's that's one thing, and and the thing is too, you probably come across this. You you work with a lot of your friends. Do to, to some of the people you work with, EJ, their friends as well. EJ. Oh yeah. 
Is he there? Hello? Yeah, yeah. Sure, you can there. hear me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 And Oftentimes you, you're friends, yeah. Yeah, and, you need, and they need to – and that's one of the things I found is – when you work with friends as well, you need to put those boundaries there. So there's a there's a point where there's a friendship stops, and you know you are the boss. Yeah. So which is which is a cool thing. You know you, you take what I what I found is take um, what you want from people, like in the in the thought patterns. But ultimately, you're the one that has to make the decision, and the onus falls upon you because um, you know it's, stops with it, you. yeah. So yeah, it does. Yeah, it's it's your project and. You know, and it's and it's what it is, and it, good point because that's that's one of the things that I do see a lot of people. Um, you know, uh, that's what actually can can pirates hear me? Um, that's actually <laughs> one of the problems that I think they've been having. What I've been hearing back, um, there's too many chiefs and not enough Indians, yeah. and um, well, on a, which on a project that, on a, I was going to say on a project that. Big oh, on that yeah. scale, and, it'd be yeah, and yeah. and you you see it all the time, you know, like um, but um, you know, like it's 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 what it is. It's filmmaking, you know. You have problems, things happen, yeah. <laughs> and um, you either yeah. you, know, you, you've you, gotta, you break a hand, you lose some dogs, it just, yeah. <laughs> just legally bring something into the. Well, I know. Director was working working with uh, power tools, and he cut off the tip of his finger. Yeah, right. who's this? Sorry? sorry. What was that? We missed- uh, mobility, while we were shooting mobility, um, the art director uh, put off the the not like the whole tip of his finger, but like the pad on, yeah, on yeah. one of his fingers. Ow! And uh, I'm sorry. Ow! <laughs> yeah, ow! Well, it was really funny. I get a call. And he's like, and it's from him, and he's on the phone. And he's like, EJ, okay, don't panic. I'm like, okay, what's going on? I cut off the tip of my finger. I'm like. Okay, go to the hospital. He's like, no, no, no. We can just sew it back on here. And I, no, go to the damn hospital, dude. <laughs> you know, and and EJ, and that's the difference between a professional. Yeah. Yes. My, yes. That's that's that's. Look, I look. I have this thing. My wife, her mother passed away um, years ago, oh. and she's a trapeze artist, and she went and performed that night. Nice. So, you know, when, I don't know, I'm, maybe that's harsh with, you know, but I, I look at it from this perspective, you know, her mother occasion. passed away and the show goes on and that's yeah. the way it is. Um, but not everyone's built like that. Yeah. So, you know, and your art director is, obviously. <laughs> we're, we're getting that buzz up back a bit, just so you know. Uh, me? Yeah. That's really weird. Yeah, I- <laughs> and I'll, I'll I'll unplug again. One second. There. Plug back in. Aha. Uh-huh. How's that? That actually fixed it. Yeah. There you what? go. Yeah. yeah. It's the aliens, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's 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 nobility in orbit just sort of messing with you. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get into his. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That'd be that'd actually be fairly funny. Just have a random cameo of each guy's show on the other person's <laughs> thing. For no apparent reason. <laughs> it's actually it's, just just it's one, sh- one 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 shot. No bad apparent as reason. A TARDIS, you want a, a TARDIS in every shot. Yes. The, no. 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 Just one per episode. Just hidden in the background somewhere. Hidden. Yeah. I think there's the old <laughs> copyright thing you got to worry about sometimes. Not if I, it's a little toy phone box thing, on the table. <laughs> I I love R two D two, and I wanted to put an R two D two in in a bar scene, mm-hmm. just as a little in the background. And man. If if George Lucas still had control, I'm sure we would have been able to. But um, yeah, Disney man. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard things. Do not want to mess with Disney. No. Nah, I, I, I've heard things with Disney, and I, I won't go into it here. But let's just say they're very tight. Oh. Yeah, and that's, yeah, that's, that's putting it don't. light, and that's putting it lightly. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, what? Do you want to have one of our characters in your movie? We want at least two hundred percent of the profits. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's in this. It's in one scene for like three seconds. We want three hundred percent of the profits. It's like, well, oh, back up. Mouse. What the hell? <laughs> I only wanted Mickey Mouse. Okay. Spe- speaking of Mickey Mouse, you hear what's at Universal Studios in the Jurassic World ride? Yes. Mickey Mouse. There's a Mickey Mouse hat with a bite mark just on oh, off to the funny. side because it's right next door to to Disneyland. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad taste. I've got some um, 
I got some questions about um pot uh, potential weapons and stuff. Yeah, yep, yeah, sure. Since it is a, even though it's um special forces, but it's also sci-fi, will uh will the guns be uh, mainly bullet based, or will we see some sort of lasers or other sort of? Uh, well, tech? actually, well, what we're doing with the weapons, we're actually using like diff we're going to be using a mixture of uh, um everything, where uh, the human weapons are. Uh, they shoot like laser pulses. Nice. Um, That'd be cool. And pretty much, look, because obviously there's different species. There's there's going to be different species and a bit of bit of everything. So, you know, every species is going to be a bit different. Yeah. Um, with as we go on with what they use, but yeah, no, the the uh, the uh, the military. Like um, the G Cool, um, yeah, they, their weapons are, they shoot like, um, you know. Uh, no more bullets in that. Sorry? No more bullets in that. Uh, no. Yeah. Bullets, no, bullets for girls. Are no, you, no, sorry. Are you, are you f I am one. Are you, yeah. are you fully redesigning the guns or are you going to go down and do what Terra Nova did and just buy some Nerf guns, paint them black, and go, Good All enough. right, so, yes. <laughs> No, what we've done—that's just we've what done every cosplayer better. does. <laughs> uh, we've actually, what we've been using is um, we've used Nerf guns as a base, and we've we've actually made weapons that fire like the, you actually see the light shooting up the barrels and everything. Nice, transparent. Uh, they've got um, we've put electronics in them. Uh, we've changed and we're integrating like real scopes into them as well and stuff like that. So they they look pretty cool. Um, yeah, Terra Nova, um, they've just painted them black. Yeah. That was actually looking really cool. Yeah, we, 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 uh, what are, we're going back to practical effects. Um, JJ is actually doing it on um, Star, Star Wars. Wars. Yeah, because yeah. um, he, the, like, he made we'll get, the Millennium Falcon and the X-Wing and all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. it looks just, like we've even got a battle vehicle, which I want to get into Comic Con. Um, we've got a... We, we're hit, up, of, hit up Comic-Con, hit up Supernova. Um, yeah, well, this thing's a beast. And yeah. the good thing about it is um, the whole point of when it's there is... Do you guys, when you go there and you can't touch anything that's on display? Yeah. yeah. This thing, you can actually hop in it. Nice. Ooh. And you can play with oh. the displays in there. Oh, oh very goody. nice. You can play with it's, the HUD. All of them can play with the HUD. The oh. whole point of it, it's solid steel. It's... It's made so that I, I wanted when we were building it, yeah. we we're just about to skin it, and we wanted to make sure that it's usable because there's nothing worse than being on a movie set. You put your foot through something or you break something, and it's a movie prop and things like this. So this thing is actually a big badass. You can fit like I think about eight to ten soldiers fully armed in it. Um, I we, think we, I think Dave has passed. Uh, sorry, Scarecrow has passed out from pure awesome at this point. Yeah, you gonna. I I'm think you're gonna get yeah. from it. It's yeah. pretty cool. We've it's nicknamed it the Titan at the moment. Nice. But, oh. um, because it's big. It's yeah. big. It's um. It's about I think about five or six meters. It pretty much. What I wanted to do was it's got like with a gun turret on top, and you know we build it all from scratch, which is pretty cool. Very uh, nice. It, it was it was a truck. Um, that was donated to us and uh, by a friend of mine, and um, so we were really fortunate. We got a welder on board that has done all the welding, and um, this thing to build. I, I actually had a quote of what it would have cost us, and they reckon to build it by the time it's finished, it would have been close to a million bucks. So, yeah, all I'm going to say is, oh, look, it's got a HUD. Beep, 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 I can't beep, wait till you see it. It's going to shock <laughs> it people. It's amazing. never been. And, and that's the really cool thing is we wanted to, and especially because we're going to be using it, and it goes up to 110 kilometers an hour. Oh, um, doesn't it's, sound terrifying at all. <laughs> uh, the wheels, the cool thing is the wheels on the back are about 750, almost a meter wide. Wow. So um, it, it, they're big. It's yeah. it's it's pretty big, and we wanted something that could be used, and that. Um, so I, I'm actually really that's what I'm really excited about. My son calls it his Tonka truck. <laughs> so, it's a big Tonka truck. He actually Just says saying. he tells his friends he says, um, like that's mine, and he like he, he they you know it's it's actually coming into my driveway to get painted soon. Nice. Um, but it's um. 
Yeah, it's 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 buff. But I want to put it in that, and that's the reason why we wanted to do it that way too. Because when I went to Comic Con, I thought you're not allowed to touch anything. Yeah. It's like but everything's what? on display, and you know, and I know what it's you know, like movie props. They're made to yeah. be touched and used, and you know, like, I, I you know, I get that you do get some people going silly in it. But yeah. um, and the other thing we want to do is we um, I want to bring a few of the characters and yeah. You know, when we when we um, we show this off, um, we're going to do it properly. You know, nice. um, and well, I definitely, put it, definitely movie let us know us for it to do it there. And I said, no, I want to do it at Comic Con. Fair enough. So, so. Um, I think it's a cooler place to do it, to be honest. Yeah, Comic Con um, and Supernova would both definitely be really interested in doing something yeah. like that. They oh, had hell yeah. They had um, the DeLorean from Back to the Future the last couple yeah, of this, the Comic Cons. You can drive and, in the back of this. And um, they, well, had Optimus, <laughs> they had Optimus Prime from the god awful Michael Bay Transformers movies, but we won't go into the Michael Bay Transformers movies. <laughs> to be fair, though, it did look badass. Oh, that semi looked <laughs> absolutely <laughs> spectacular. It looked cool. Otherwise, we're going to be fighting, so we're going to be having to chase Hawk out with a sword. Um, hey! Maybe. I can maybe. help with that. No, knowing no. Hawk, he's just going to sort of incorporate himself into the floor and just be like, I live here now. This is home. I, I have become one with the Titan. <laughs> so hey. it's like, it's like I, I am now the shipboard AI. If you want to do something, just tell me and I'll press the buttons for you. <laughs> See this? So, Hawk is a, ti- sci- is a military nut. Yeah, sci- oh, is he? Sci-fi military <laughs> nut. Sca- is, yeah, Scarecrow Hawk. Yeah. He, he's got two nicknames. I'm a military Costumer yeah. as well, so yeah. Oh, cool. So yeah, so I could just see him lying on the floor in the front. He's like, okay, we need to go forward. So he wiggles around and starts using the pedals and steering for them. And yeah. Just <laughs> then his arms reach up from below them. Like, what the bloody? Where'd you come I'm from? I'm not this bad. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, I'm more likely to try and steal the guns. <laughs> I, sorry, they they're, they're mounted on pretty strong. And, and that's the other thing too is we wanted we I guess we wanted to make it so you know like it's got a bit of a display you know yeah. like how we're going to use it in the movie. So we'll actually have, you know, the... Um, I was just talking to the, the uh, Bubby, the guy that's building it with me, and he, we're going to put weapons racks that lock off so you can actually see the weapons in there. Nice. And things like that. So the cool... I'll tell you the thing is, to make a weapon, uh, the cool thing about Nerf guns is you can use them and change them. I think yeah. if you're using a stock standard one, yeah, you know, like it's... Yeah. It's, you know, get a sponsorship from Nerf. Um, well, what but, I, what I did with because I've got some Terra Nova cosplay. Um, yeah. I got my hands on one of their pistols and then made a few extra copies that look absolutely catastrophically horrible, to be perfectly mm. honest. But yeah, I know what you mean. Nerf guns are brilliant for pulling apart, sticking extra bits on here and there, and oh, they are. Oh, you know, you can yeah. and and you start integrating them with like the sniper rifle. We got, took one of the sniper rifles. Um, and you look at it, and I showed a friend of mine who's a police officer, and he's like, "Dude, you better make sure that they're backed away." <laughs> he was, he long, was shot, long strike or centurion? Yeah, centurion. <laughs> Wait till you see it. Mm. It's pretty cool. It's um, I've I've got both. I've actually got the long strike and the centurion. I think we've got about 170 Nerf guns. Oh. I, I like that place already. Yeah. My, yes. my... Can, can we come visit? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of fun. I've got a massive bag. I think my question is, when can I buy the rover? <laughs> the rover? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, can, can I have Will you make me one pretty, please? <laughs> like, I, I'm just looking at your ship. That's a nice design. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Are you talking about the, uh, the nobility? Yeah, oh, is that, that's what it's called. Yeah, yeah nice colors. Yeah. yeah, it's cool. Thank you. Uh, yeah. I had. I, I, was thinking, I was thinking. I was thinking with the Titan that um, you have to do what Mad Max did and just drive it down the highway to Comic Con. <laughs> you know, here's the funny thing. When they, <laughs> you just imagine you're driving past, like, wait, what the heck was that? Do you know the funny thing when it was actually um, what they do is there's a process because it was a big truck, and then they cut it, and I think they took three meters out of it. Um, and when they take it out, they join it together and they've got to do this thing called fish plating, um, or on movie sets, they just weld it, you know, like, cause it's a prop. So they just think, yeah. oh yeah, it's only going to last while you're filming. So we were fortunate. The guy fish plated it properly and it was actually oh. joined together properly. Yes. And- 
the mechanic that came out and had a look at it and said, you know, legally, if you actually put tail lights on this, because you've kept the size within the parameters, and he goes, and if you actually put mirrors on the side, you could actually register this. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm right. thinking, imagine rocking up an Aldi in it and you put it <laughs> back and drop it down and it's like, you know, let's get some food. And it was like, uh, <laughs> no, no, you go, you go to a Macca's drive through. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you take the roof off. I think we're back to, will you make me one, please? <laughs> <laughs> It's like, it's like there's a pantheon of like movie cars and stuff like that. We're going to have to do a, sort of a top five on them at some point. Oh, we have to do that. Yeah, well, probably a couple of months from now. We do a top five sci-fi dot, dot, dot the first uh, week of every month. Yeah, yeah. So the next one coming up is sci-fi games. But down the road, we're going to definitely do a sci-fi vehicles. Oh, and it's like be I, a lot of that. I would love to have the Jeep from Terra Nova next to the Jeep from Jurassic Park next to a DeLorean. And I got a sneaking suspicion they will all fit inside this thing. Probably. <laughs> do you know, do you know the, um, the really cool thing is um, we videoed everything. Nice. The whole process. So what we're actually going to do, we're going to be releasing, I think the first one's going to be released next month. Uh, we're doing, uh, we're actually doing... Um, Make sure you send us the link and we will definitely... Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, we're, we're going to be releasing featurettes so you can actually see the whole process. Nice. And there's a big surprise at the end of the featurette, which is kind of cool. Um, and so we're going to, you know, like... to Because we, the, the one thing that I find is, you know, it's... Um, people want to know how they could... You know, I guess... How, how can you put it? If... if Oh, instead of it just being a behind the scenes kind of like showing how we did it we're actually doing a I guess from the perspective we're going to actually show people how you can do it nice um, which so you you're know, saying I could take my Ford Focus turbo diesel and turn it into an armoured car with a machine I, gun on the top you, you'd be surprised <laughs> yeah. what you could do they, like all these things out here um, if you put your mind to it you've got the buzz you know, back sorry you've buzz got the back buzz. Hang on. Is it disconnecting hang on three two and I'm back. <laughs> that is the most better. random... Is that better? Yep. I don't know what it is. Hey. It's <laughs> all the I can, think, all all I can think of is it's not... Earth, the computer may not be Earth properly. Yeah. And it's just building... It's slowly building up a charge and eventually it's just going to reach the point where it's like... You go it on. only happens when I go to the nobility site. Ooh. What's going on there? <laughs> <laughs> you go to nobilitytheseries.com. A bit of a plug. Um, and it's... Dude, you found the pattern out. Jeez, the cheap plugs are real. Wow. <laughs> uh, look at that, EJ. You've, you've already had two or three free plugs tonight. That, yeah, that's at least $300 worth of advertising you owe us. What's going on here? Whereabouts are you based, EJ? Where, where, whereabouts are you based? Uh, I'm in Orange County. Our studio's in Pico Rivera, just south of LA. Oh, cool. Yeah. I've actually got a mate of mine that lives down uh, that way as an actor. I don't know if you know him, Hector Bustamante. Yeah, fishing for a role for him. Um, <laughs> he's, he's actually, he was in 24 and you'd know him if you look him up. He's um, in Heroes and stuff like that. But um, oh, no, good to mate. Um, uh, James, who played Ando, is, is in uh, Nobility, so. Sorry? Uh, on, on, you mentioned heroes. Uh, James Kyson, who played Ando, is is in Nobility. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Cool. Yeah, that's awesome. And what was again? Uh, Hector Luis Bustamante. He's not the mayor. He's <laughs> he's got the same. Uh, was it the same name as I think as one of the mayors or something? Hector like, Luis Bustamante. Yeah, that's him. Yeah. He's like. I tell you a really oh, fun, funny the, story yeah. with Hector. <laughs> Hector's Hector's your oh, sorry. I like funny stories. Yeah, he's 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 a really cool guy. He's actually a really good actor. Uh, he's in this uh, movie called uh, ah, For the Life of Me. I can't remember. It's not called For the Life of Me. Or yeah, he's play, He's actually playing Samson, one of the Garrison Seven. Nice. So, um, it's it's funny because I've actually got to go find young versions of these actors into in about a year and a half, two years. Well, if you need a person who can't act who's fat, just hit me up. I'm, well, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll sit at a pub somewhere and play dead. I, I, I do good. I do a good dead. 
Any, anyone can act. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm in a way. I can, I can even do weird voices. <laughs> but they're pretty crap. Mmm, jittery. Or not. Voice is strong in this one. Did you Sorry. Have you, Myron? Uh, you don't know what you're talking about, damn it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. The voice is coming. Hey, hey. Ah. Yeah. Yes, it's okay. We're perfectly in line with what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yep. And Palpatine's oh, right. come out. <laughs> So, nice. yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna launch it at Comic Con. That's what I want to do with it. So nice. That's the big plan. Nice. Comic Con is in, uh, mid of mid September up in Brisbane, and uh, what's it? Uh, what's the time okay, in Brisbane? It's not San Diego Comic Con that you guys are referring no, to I'm, as I'm, Comic. I actually want to do Comic Con San Diego next year. Oh, that'd be awesome! Yeah, cool. um, okay. and can, can just, I hide in the car on the way yeah, over and join? Yeah, you? we're it's <laughs> it's got to go over in a shipping container. Um, no, it's actually can't. not as expensive as I thought it was going to be, um, but uh, yeah, we, we want. To, and the other thing we've got, um, it's uh, I've got another project that I've been working on the last couple of years. Um, actually, about two in the last couple of years. It was my first one. It's twenty years, um, and it's called. It's actually called Danger Man. It's a. Um, it's a superhero, um, but it's not your standard superhero sort of yeah. thing. So that's our other one, which um, it's currently under option with Stan Lee over in the States. Nice. Um, it's funny because I've actually got a guy in, a, in America that dresses up as this character, Danger Man, in California, of all places. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it's funny. Um, yeah. But it's nothing like him, just so you know, EJ. Nothing like him. <laughs> so, I'm nothing like him? No, no. It, it's it's their doubt. Their, character my nickname when i was growing up was danger man because my mother's maiden name was man and um when i was in the army i was a bit of an idiot so so my, like a um yeah my, that was my little nickname my we nick did a, yeah. okay. i was just to say my nickname growing up with was baxi taxi being bax being my last name and my mother having a massive tarago hoarding the friends around oh, <laughs> so. and if you're a masseur you could have been relaxy taxi <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I took that a friend. Oh, I can't oh, lie. Um, okay, <laughs> Brisbane Comic Con is yes. September nineteenth uh, to twentieth. Yeah, something okay. like that. I did try. We were going to try and put it into the one down in Sydney last year, but it, it wasn't. Was it? Now it wasn't called Comic Con, was it? Uh, there's no, Comic Con. Yes, there's Supernova. Oh, Oz Comic Con Supernova. Yep. There's Oz Armageddon. The there's. Well, no, no, Armageddon's no longer Armageddon. It's not. They changed it. They yeah. They changed the name. It's run by the same people, but they changed the name. Oh, okay. And it seems to be, and it seems to be a less nicer than what it was. Well, here's yeah. a question. So you guys, you know, like you know more about comic cons and stuff uh, than obviously <laughs> yeah, me. Hi, I've been, yeah. Hi. I've been doing conventions for 14 years. What do you want to awesome. know? Awesome. <laughs> All right. So, okay, do they show their armpits? No. Um, <laughs> No, um, I'm not going to answer that one. <laughs> which, which is which? Would you launch it at? Um, because they both tell Super me how awesome they are. Yeah, Supernova's been, Supernova's been around the longest. Yeah, but I but will Oscom, I, I I lean towards Oz Comic Con. Yeah, yeah. Purely you because of, yeah, 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 it's a, it's a little bit better. But um, also the, the, the Supernova guys can be giant dicks. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I was not trying to go there, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no other way to put it. That is but, yeah. the nice way to put Com it. Oz Comic Con are doing a lot more things... Uh, a lot more things towards stuff that I would like to see. Yeah, yeah. Like, they're doing a whole bunch of things like cosplay and stuff, which yeah, is yeah. really, really awesome. Like, there's a whole, like... Like, there's, like, cosplay change rooms. There's a, wa there's just a cosplay water station where cosplayers can go in and get water and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And they seem to be doing things based more on the, com on the, um, on the fans in the community, and I think that'd yeah. be a good place for it. Yeah. How do you feel about with the way some of the things the studios are doing, where they they kind of go away from the fans and and just oh, do, their, like do Michael, their own you thing? Mean like Michael Bay of Transformers. Oh yeah, one of them, or even <laughs> like with some of the Marvel things and things like that. Well, see, the Marvel guys don't go too far off the comics, so it's not yeah. so bad. Yeah. Because I I I grew up more DC, but I do know the Marvel side of things as well. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. they haven't gone too far away from everything. It's same with. DC, they haven't gone too far Optimus away from Prime everything, so it's not so bad. That actually um, happened in Generation 1. Yes, but not to the point where the dinosaur had no brains. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm, to be perfectly honest, as far as I'm concerned, the only Transformer, that, Transformer movie that exists is the Gen 1 one <laughs> and parts of the first Michael Bay one. The rest oh, of them... Unicron. Hey, look, when you're making a movie, there's more than meets the eye. Yeah. So, uh, um, <laughs> really quick, uh, coming back to uh, uh, yep, conventions and stuff. Yeah, mate. Yeah. I was just saying, really quick, coming back to conventions, really quick before we move too far on. Uh, contact me uh, after the show, and I can tell you on the U.S. side of things what yeah, what I would fun. do. Yeah. Um, there's some there's some info that I I don't want to release on the air, but yeah, yeah, I can no. tell you. Yeah, I'll hook you guys up after this. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say, definitely go for OzComicCon. I think they're yeah. going to be the better ones in a few yeah. years' time, to be honest. What, yeah. what I was going to say is um, OzComicCon and Supernova are two totally different beasts. Yeah. They're, yeah. On paper, they're the same, but in reality, they're two totally different. Yeah. OzComicCon team seems to have the, overall anyway, the bigger name celebrities, yeah. like the Richard Dean Andersons, the um, Cap... Well, I forgot his name. William Shatner's. Those sort of the big name showrunners go to... Yeah. Oz Comic Con, whereas Supernova tends to, for the most part, have the secondary characters. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it, that's well, that's the side that I look at. I look at it from the sort of the celebrity side. We're could... hoping that if we can organise it in time with them, I, I don't know about this one in September because we are going to be filming and it crosses over. Yeah. Um, but to be able to like, because I want to bring Casper and Mark out, like when we're actually filming. Oh, dude. Yeah. If you. Honestly, is... if you brought if you brought Castle and Mark out to Oz Comic Con, that would it would blow up. Yeah. Oh really? Oh cool. Because I I want to bring Mark, <laughs> Asper, Marjane, and oh god, I don't know if I can tell because you. There's a lot of people that love um and because they've been in Mortal Kombat, there's a lot of people that love yeah. the Mortal Kombat guys. Yeah. Um, at Gold Coast recently, we had um Richard Epcar who voiced Raid in the recent Mortal Kombat games. Yeah, yeah. Every, and like his Twitter is just it's blown up with all Mortal Kombat stuff. So, getting yeah. those guys out there and as well for what they've done for like like you said Brotherhood of the Wolves and like Bowser Galactica and yeah. like all that stuff like that's yeah. that would be the perfect way to bring them out. Yeah. We've got a couple of other really cool actors, but I'm not allowed to say under contract with them. Yeah. Kind of that sucks, but, uh, but I will make sure that when we do, you guys do find out. Yeah, so. it sounds good. Oh yeah, it's, so, it's pretty cool. As, as, as long as one of the soup, one of the Oz Comic Cons you go to is the one in Brisbane, I'll, it's all good. <laughs> I'm happy. I don't have to travel. <laughs> well, I travel anywhere. It's cheaper to take the vehicle up there. <laughs> <laughs> that too. I'll drive up the highway. <laughs> I'll let my son, he can't do it much damage, so... Well, if, if you want, I can bring the 3D camera with me. I have a 3D camera. Oh, it, cool. It's pretty crap, but it does the job. <laughs> you know what's really drunk. funny? If we, we... You came out and they had the 3D... That camera that rotated, the rotating camera. Oh, the 360, oh, the 360 cam. cam. Oh, yeah. the Google camera? No, no, there's a, there's a thing um, they did at a couple of um, Oz Comic Cons ago called the 360 fan cam. That was last yeah. one. That oh, was the last, last Oz Comic Con. It was the yeah, first, last also one. the first Oz Comic Con in Brisbane. Yeah, the first one in Brisbane, um, the last one. It was to sort of celebrate 10 years of Battlestar Galactica. Sci-Fi Channel brought it out. They surrounded you with about 30 SLR cameras um, and took a photo of you there. with all of them at the same time. Yeah, he'll be back. <laughs> um, and then they stitch all these pictures together and do a photo around the outside um I'll, what i'll do is i'll i'll link you guys to the ones that we did we i actually talked to i won a, a shot with the two guys from battlestar galactica that were there yeah um who, yeah, who, was, if I can... who were they again do you, do you guys remember um i can't remember <laughs> sorry yeah, yeah I'm, I, I'm just gonna ring one of the actors and see if i can get guy <laughs> you, you, you. are you back ej are you doing, I <laughs> yeah i hear i see how oh. you're trying to get rid of me. no <laughs> yeah. we, we, we call it air locking for a reason air locking <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's it's air, air locking is when you do something so, so bad you get lines lobbed, here. <laughs> lobbed out of the show what the hell <laughs> but yeah, um, I'll, I'll let dave find his and i'll talk about the one that i got to do um, I got to Why do the hell one. Is YouTube not loading? Yeah, I got to do a um, 360 fan cam with two of the original Power Ranger actors, um, <laughs> uh, Austin St. John and uh, Walter Jones. Mm-hmm. 
Walter Emmanuel Jones, who are um, Jason and Zach in the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. They came out. Now, have you seen the new Power Rangers trailer, teaser, the short film thing? The, uh, the, the, the dark one, and gritty one. Yeah, the one. The, the, the one with Katie, the Katie one that has, Sackoff. That's yeah, not the one yeah, sure. get, oh, That's a that's a fan one. one. That's a fan made. How cool is that? Yeah. Oh yes. Oh, well we did a whole bloody oh. podcast on that one a while back. Oh, that yeah. was a bloody my, like I got sent that and I was like, check this out. And I was like, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. It, that was spectacular. We've been it trying. Was to... very good. Okay. There's that's a link to our Facebook page with the 360 fan cam footage. I've also linked okay. it in the chat. Right. Um, so it sort of shows you what the effect oh, yeah. of it is. A hash fan cam 360. I've just learned about hashes today, sorry. The, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was educated by um, uh, Ollie, who does our social media stuff. So he's, um, he's going, you've got to put these things. I was like, oh, put the hashtag. So, anyway, it could have been worse. It could have been your five-year-old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, I was talking to, to Tori um, Higginson from Stargate Atlantis, telling yeah. her about the page and what we do and stuff like that. And I spent about 20 minutes talking to her. And I mentioned that I'd won a go in the 360 cam with the two guys from Battlestar Galactica that were there. Mm. And I said, you should come over and join us. Um, it'll be a lot of fun. And you said in the panel that you never really got to play with a gun. I've got a replica of Ronan's gun from Stargate Atlantis. I can bring that in. You can you can do that. It's tomorrow afternoon at this time. And she was really keen. And she came over to, at the time and joined us in line and had a chat for about 10, 15 minutes until we made it to the front. And then... Wait, 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 hang on. We took that photo. You had, you had to wait in line. I got to go instant. We we just pushed in and instantly went. No, no, because we'd won tickets to go to the Battlestar oh, okay. Galactica guys, and it was oh, meant yeah, to be okay, just yeah. me with those two. Okay, but because fair. I brought Tori over, I said, "Look, we'll go last because there's a group of us." Um, fair enough, and fair then enough. after we went through, the two guys got Tori to stay, and they took a couple of photos with her as well. So <laughs> that was funny, which was really good. They actually got her to pick. To, they jumped up with her holding them by the throat, and the 360 cam did the thing. And it looks like they're, they're oh, cool. holding yeah, the token. It. So, yeah. yeah that's that's cool. Tori's awesome. Tori is awesome. Oh, Tori is amazing. We, 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 love, awesome. we love Tori. We love Rainbow. He's joined us on the podcast before, Rainbow Sun Franks. I'm trying to get him back on. He's actually working on um, Defiance today, right now, as we speak. He is on set putting on his purple makeup. So, <laughs> we, we, oh. we, we, we love oh, you, God. Rainbow, and we want to see a photo of that, please. <laughs> I, I see some Nerf CS6s there. Yeah. <laughs> it's really sad. <laughs> it's so funny. I'll, see, I'll, I'll watch a movie and I'll see something like that. Oh, that's the Nerf, Nerf end strike. Oh, that's um, a... Just random note, back. your buzz is back. <laughs> oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Sorry. Hang on. It's the mothership. So, <laughs> just blame yeah, the ability the two, again. Uh... There you go. Yeah. And you know the funny thing, EJ, I was on your side again. It's, it's like Stylistic uh, side is cursed. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna speak to a friend of friend of mine in anonymous one second. Oh, <laughs> I actually do have a friend who's worked with anonymous, so yeah. It's it's I watched this thing the You've other got day. a friend that works copy. with Anonymous and you still can't get a good signal. I, oh, I don't know. Yeah. I actually watched this thing the other day, just off topic totally, and it was the funniest thing I've ever seen. It was um in America there's EJ know this, there's those people, the um oh, the protests army uh funerals. Oh, the Westboro Baptist guys. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's oh, I love them. And they were them. doing an interview, and they had um, it was one of those talk shows, and they so had funny. Anonymous on the talk show. <laughs> and while they're sitting there talking, and the ladies, you know, oh, I know that on. interview. I know the interview. Oh, I know exactly he's actually about. sitting there, and he's going, "Just one, one moment, please." And he's talking to them, and he's actually doing something to their website, yeah. and taking down all their sites, and putting a little. And it was just the funniest thing. I just thought. <laughs> I just thought she's just walking into it, and it was like, um, "Oh man, those guys! You're, you're talking about those guys who will protest the funerals because they say it's punishment because uh, God hates gays and we're yeah, gays or something." Yeah, like. yeah. My, my, see, my favorite yeah, retort to them isn't that God hates fags; it's that God hates figs because, after all, the tree wasn't in season, and so he didn't get any, so he cursed it and it died. Therefore, God hates figs. Can I just say yeah. there's one thing I'd like to see happen to the Westboro Community Church, whatever the hell it is? Westboro Baptist Church. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you 
You remember the scene in um? Oh God, what was it? That Brit- recent British spoof of James Bond. Oh, uh, Johnny oh, English. Yes. No. Yes. Uh, which which the movie? One, the, the one with Mr. Bean in it, or? No, no, no. That's Johnny English. That's I Johnny think... English. Hang on. Yeah. I've got it. There. Yeah. Anyway. Gentlemen, or whatever it was. Oh, yeah. um, oh yeah. Kingsman. 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 That's the one. What an epic movie! I'm sorry. I'll that was you. amazing. I agree. I, I hate I'd to be the odd guy in the group. I haven't seen it see... yet. I am waiting for the Blu-ray. I am going to good. buy it as soon Watch as it's it. on the really shelf. Really good movie. <laughs> okay. So turn your ears off for a second, Dave. Ears are off. I would love to see what happened to that church in that movie. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you wreck it. <laughs> I would love to see that happen. That was a very good movie. It I was. Liked, it was a good film. It was hilarious. Yeah. It was. That was. I managed to say that without any spoilers. <laughs> yeah, it, was. it was good. It was good. good. Very good. Yeah. Unlike what I do and ruin everything for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> it was a very yes. good film. Okay. Anyway, we're gonna I take a sh- short break for the news. So that's do it's time. So um, we've still got about. Sort of t- 10 or so minutes left, so Stuart, away with the news you go, and we will interrupt you if and when we want to. <laughs> Which, is pla- it's pla- Which is always. Right? And does he do it in a news voice? Oh, no. I wish. <laughs> no, I don't. Do a uh, news a voice. Do a uh, news voice. I don't know do if I can do a news, news voice. Just <laughs> do it in an American accent, you'll be right. <laughs> Hello, and welcome hey, to the 6 o'clock news. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be simple- Our first story this evening. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, we got some drag- we got some um, Dragon Ball Super um, news, which is the new Dragon Ball Z series that's been um, being made. We have a first look at Goku. The he seems to have actually slimmed, actually, so his muscle mass seems to have gone down, mm-hmm. and he's got the same symbol on his um, gi that is going to be used in the Resurrection of F movie. Nice. So I'm actually looking forward to both Resurrection of F, which will be airing in some Australian cinemas. So check out your local cinemas. They may or may yeah. not have it. Mad Men's got the news, so keep yeah. a close or eye on them. Or if you want to do what I did and found something really horrible, oh, someone God. someone recorded the entire fight between Goku, Vegeta, and Frieza. No, no I refuse. That I, I, I wish I didn't see that now. I'm, I'm not watching. It ruins I refuse everything. It. Refuse to. You mention it and I'll diamond shovel you. I won't. I, I, I wish I didn't see it. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, moving on to some, some more news. Some Power Ranger news. Dave threw me under the bus for this one. <laughs> <laughs> so I found some, just a really quick backstory for that. I found some news. It popped up on my wall from one of the comic pages I keep an eye on, and um, so I shared it on Save Sci-Fi, not wanting my name to be tagged to it. I you wrote mine. I love I love Power Rangers almost as much as I love. Oh, this is great news. I love Power Rangers almost as much as I love Star Wars. Stuart. <laughs> now I am. I do love Power Rangers a lot. And I really, really love Star Wars a lot. Yes, EJ's freaking to say something now. <laughs> Track rules. That's all I can say. Star Trek is better. <laughs> so yeah. Um. So uh, Lionsgate executives have shared plans for the movie. With the, in a press release, uh, they're happy with the way the, vi- the, um, the vision is for the movie, and for the opportun- um, opportunistic uh, date for it, and they think they should be able to get out on time. Now that's now for the those who don't know, the movie is meant to be released January 13, 2017. Fair enough. Hey, I have another Star Wars person. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Yes, uh, we're, leave, we're, we're, just, we're watching the chat room as well, yeah. so <laughs> I'll leave the flash news until we actually cover the finale. Yeah, the, 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 we're covering the finale next week. Um, yeah, because there's, there's a lot. Oh yeah, it'll be Flash and Supergirl. So uh, next week. Uh, is don't tell me picture. Supergirl. Don't tell me yet. Have no, no, no. They, it's, <laughs> well, next covering, week. It's, it's, it's next, good. Ne- it, it, yeah. it got released story though. It got it got leaked online. If you want yeah, to see it got the pilot. Online. Yeah. The See, as far as I'm concerned, as far as I'm concerned, they gave us a copy for author review as part of the yeah. podcast. We'll go with that. That's our cover story, and I'm sticking with it. Yeah. Anyway, so I've got some, I've got some Civil War news. <laughs> yep. So, um, it it seems that with with Bucky, um, the um, 
because we all know this, um, Civil War is based on the, on the Superhuman Registration Act between uh, Iron Man and Captain America. Yeah. But it, there is speculation. This is speculation at the moment. Buck is a transsexual? <laughs> <laughs> now that would be interesting. Sorry, that, I'm just, sorry. That, 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 Hello. that awkward that, moment when... No. <laughs> There is speculation that Bucky will take over as Captain America. Ooh. That's because no, what are they going to do to Captain America? Uh, well, they what could they possibly do? Well, well, I'm just, uh, just going to ruin the comics here. Uh, they kill him off in the comics. Don't say that. They don't, do they? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, yeah, I random note on the note of... Him back. They kill him off, they bring him back. He's almost as, ba- he's on, almost as big a kill-off, bring back Yo-Yo, as... Um... Superman. They call him the C-1000. So yeah. they, they, he comes back more than Rachel Ghoul does. Yeah. Yeah, pretty uh, much. Oh, yeah, <laughs> just random note again, really quick, before I forget. Uh, Sci-Fi Australia, that's right, Siffy Australia, one of our most... One of our nemesis is... Is, 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 uh, is having a contest right now. <laughs> Um, on their Facebook page where you can win Star Wars and Star Trek swag. Mm. So I'm more than happy to put our differences aside and all the shows they cancelled. Admittedly, it's the American one that killed them all off, but I'll put the differences aside. Just give me some Star Wars or Star Trek swag. I'll be happy. I'll, Hell I'll, yeah. I'll play, I'll play nice. <laughs> all right, so yeah, I've got a bit of DC news, some more DC news. Uh, and this is well, this is surprising to me. Uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson has confirmed that Shazam will be coming before the 2019 release date. Ooh. He did an interview, um, and he said, uh, no, I don't think it's going to be this way. He, uh, he said that, um, Shazam's going to come e- earlier than two- uh, uh, 2019, so what I'm thinking is that either the mo- the movie comes out just before Justice League, or Shazam comes out with Justice League, and Black Adam's going to be the villain. Ooh, very Ooh. nice. Yep. Very nice. That would be interesting. Yep, yeah. got some X Men news as well. Yep. So in the latest uh, issue of Empire Magazine, they repl- they published a new piece on X Men um X Men Apocalypse, and it has a battle scene which shows uh Cyclops, uh shooting his late uh shooting his eyes um his laser eyes at uh, a flying figure. I can't tell what it is. It apparently could be Angel. Ooh. While on to his right, uh, Jean Grey is um. In cover behind some rubble. Ooh, yeah. did he try to cut Angel's wings off? Possibly, I don't know. It's like did Angel, Angel made a made a, a move on Gene. Never ever do that. <laughs> Never ever do that. The only person who can do it is Wolverine because no matter what he Scott does, there's nothing he can do to stop him. Mm. That's that's right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there was something else. I fucking remember. Where I put it. Yeah. Well, uh, here it is. <laughs> here it is. Uh, Arrow originally were going to use Harley Quinn. Ooh. There was, yeah, back in season two, um, during the Deathstroke era, um, Diggle broke the um, uh, the Suicide Squad out. Yeah. There was a delete. There was, a, but you don't see Harley with it. There was a deleted scene that came out later on that actually you don't see the face of Harley, but you hear the voice and you see like the back of her head and stuff. So you see like the blonde hair and stuff. Apparently, originally they were going to use her with Suicide Squad, yeah. but it's just, never going to happen, unfortunately. Really, really quick, because we've got about a minute left. I just want to answer the question that's come up in the chat. Um, my understanding is there's another Prometheus movie coming and another Alien movie coming. Yes. yes. So. This. This, so. This, so yeah. Okay. Anyway, we're in the last minute, so <laughs> Stuart, have you got any news left that's important? Uh, no, not till next week. All right, we can we can wait we can leave the rest of it to next week. All right, so now's everybody's chance to say their goodbyes. So we'll start with Scott if he's still floating about. And now it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> it was lovely talking to you guys. It was yeah. awesome. It's good good to have it's you on. Have you. I absolutely loved it. EJ. Later, everyone. Great uh, great to meet you, Scott, and uh, great to be on here again. Yeah, likewise, man. Awesome. Oh. You're not dead. Like, totally awesome, man. Like, totally. Okay. Um, Amy. Bye, all. Scarecrow. See you next week, guys. Stuart. Bye, everyone. And we're out of here. We will catch you next week. Keep an eye on the Facebook page. As always, we are doing the Ultimate Sci-Fi Fleet. It finishes this week. We'll catch you later this week. We'll catch you later this week. 
we'll catch you later this week. We'll catch you.